Cora Schultz, along with our very own Meg Terrell today. Meg? Well, Kelly, thanks so much. Cora, thanks for being with us. You know, let's start with the quarter, just as Kelly was talking about the effect of COVID that you saw there and how you're modeling that going forward through this year. Very nice to see you again, Meg. Yeah, we're modeling in the way that we think there will be some level of restriction still here in the first quarter. And then we are really optimistic that in the second quarter, this will be going away both in North America and in Europe. But we have in our guidance sort of made it broader than we normally do, because of course we don't know. And if something were to happen and there would be a new variant or something like that, and we would see new restrictions, then we have sort of a sort of a range in our guidance so that we could also handle that situation. But we're optimistic that we will see a return to more normal volumes. We've had the phenomenon that less people have been going to their either primary care, primary care physician or specialist. And as a consequence of that, we've seen total volume being down in both uh, generics and OTC in Europe and U.S. Well, another issue that's been sort of front and center for uh, investors and analysts looking at Teva has been the opioid litigation situation. You, of course, just struck uh, a settlement with Texas, $225 million. What is your expectation for when you could reach a national settlement, if you'll reach a national settlement, and how long that might take? Yeah, so we would really like to reach a na nationwide settlement basically because it's the best thing for everybody, not at least for the people suffering from substance abuse in the U.S. Unless there's a settlement, there will be no resources going towards them. There will be no products going towards them. So what we managed to do now in Texas is reach a settlement where two-thirds of the settlement is cash over 15 years and one-third is product in the form of generic Narcan spray that can be used in situations with overdosing. So we think this is a really good settlement for the people of Texas. It's also a good settlement for us to put this behind us. It includes the state of Texas, but also all the subdivisions uh, in Texas. And we think this could be a good model for a nationwide solution, basically benefiting the American people and using products actually manufactured in our manufacturing site in Salt Lake City, where we have a dedicated line for this uh, generic Narcan spray.